Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include European laws cost us an extra £5 billion EU's wasteful fish discards policy nears the end of the line EU raids two fuel firms over price distortion EU Commission says Visa Europe offers cut in fees plus EU bailout fund releases Cyprus aid payment I'm Rick Timmis and this is the unit nightly news First, from our homepage, new EU laws, regulations and rulings have cost Britain an extra £5 billion over the past two years. Our struggling businesses are braced for almost £1 billion more of Brussels bureaucracy in the coming months, figures show. The news comes as up to 100 Tory MPs and ministers are expected to back an amendment on Tuesday condemning the government's failure to bring forward an EU referendum bill. Downing Street was compelled to allow a free vote to head off a mutiny over the issue. The analysis was carried out by Conservative MP Priti Patel, who tabled written parliamentary questions to find out the true cost of EU membership. Crucial negotiations in Brussels in the next few days will decide one of the thorniest European environmental issues of the past four decades the wasteful practice of throwing millions of healthy fish back into the sea each year after they have been caught because of the way the EU's quotas are managed. A ban on discards has gathered huge public backing since Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, the chef and food writer, made it a personal campaign more than two years ago, highlighting the waste of the EU's rapidly dwindling fish stocks. The European Union's antitrust authorities raided the offices of oil and biofuel companies in two EU member states and Norway on suspicion of distorting prices, the EU Commission said. On 14th May 2013, Commission officials carried out an unannounced inspection at the premises of several companies active in providing services to the crude oil, refined oil products and biofuel sectors, it said in a statement. Visa Europe, the European licensee of Visa Incorporated, has offered to cap its interbank credit card fees at 0.3% of transaction value for four years, the same level as the rival MasterCard network, to end a European Union competition investigation and stave off a possible fine. The European Commission said in a statement on Tuesday that the proposed reduction meant fees levied by Visa Europe, which is owned and operated by more than 3,700 European member banks, would be about 40 to 60 percent lower than at present. The offer is for cross border and domestic fees. The EU has handed over the first €2 billion Euros of loans agreed under the controversial Cyprus aid deal, the bloc's European stability mechanism said in a statement. The Euro Rescue Fund said the first tranche in a €10 billion Euro package in exchange for breaking up the Cypriot banking sector was transferred today, with a second release of up to €1 billion to be transferred before 30 June 2013. Today in our VO library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the videos that have been produced, and so through the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like, please, and most importantly, sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So, without further ado, today's video, which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist, simply entitled Operation Paul Revere by George Freeman. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. 
You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the word section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, The Unit, on Google+. Links to the community page are below. <laughs>